been downgraded from a hurricane after battering the Gulf Coast on Saturday. Two people have died and a dozen others were injured. President Trump declared the area a disaster, making federal funds available. Here's Alan Schaufler. South Texas tattered and windblown after Harvey's landfall. At this motel in the town of Refugio, manager Pete Lopez and 30 customers rode out the storm as the wind clawed away at the building. I had a big old bam. What it was, that front door's got brick around it, and all that just cor corroded, fell down right there. About that time, then I heard tin flying from the roof. Started, the roof started coming apart. From there on, we just buckled down, and then we know where we could go. But he and all the others survived the damage and the night. And just a couple of hundred yards down the road from Pete Lopez's motel, we find another indication of the power of Harvey's winds and an indication of the amount of work ahead. On a two-lane country road barely passable because of high water, we meet Jeff Steckler and his brother trying to get back to Rockport to check on family and friends. That coastal town took Harvey's most destructive shot and was the site of the first reported fatality. Bad time to go back in, but I've got equipment coming from, uh, from all over Texas, really, from West Texas and from East Texas, trying to uh, get airboats and get generators, get supplies back in. We've got family there, people trapped, and uh, the responders need help. So trying to see if we can get back in and um, do what we can to help. No luck for the Stecklers on this route, though. They're turned back by a downed power line and a utility crew at work. A common sight across the region with at least a quarter million power customers in the dark. And this storm isn't finished. This is Victoria, where the rain continues, a town which could get a year's worth of rain in less than a week. For Pete Lopez and thousands more, there's only one way forward. You never know about Mother Nature. Who's lucky to survive this one? And now the job is just to clean it up and move ahead. That's it. We can move ahead and see what comes along. Hopefully it won't be nothing like this again. More misery and more hard work ahead in Harvey's wake. Alan Schaffler, Al Jazeera, South Texas.